So, okay, <clears throat> I, I, I know that I've done the right thing. You can watch uh, various uh, right-wing channels, uh, and they call them right-wing. Uh, uh, you got four patriots, and I'm not dissing them. I mean, if you want to get you a 30-day uh, food kit, uh, I think that's a good idea. Uh, I, I just don't think the quality of that food is as good as... Uh, and I'm not, I'm not, a, they're not my sponsor, man. I tell you what, I, I like Mountain House and I, a friend of mine, he, he says, well, think about it. You're only getting a couple of days supply for what, I mean, when if you went up and bought one of these 30 day kits, it's a, it's a much more economical uh, uh, alternative. Uh, but I did see reports today that as of uh, December 31st, uh, the food prices on these kits are going to go up uh, 7%. So you're looking at 7%. Boy, I wish I could get a sponsor. <laughs> and then I could offer you a 10% discount just like all the other people on YouTube do. But I, I did want to just give one more update because uh, I'm going to bed. And like I said, I got a big day tomorrow. I'm going to try to get out to some sort of state park and uh, just spend a day away from everything. I, you know, Sometimes that's what you got to do. And uh, I'm looking forward to it because I... All these doctor's appointments and everything that's been going on, you know, I just, I love the fact, see, I engineered myself into this life, and this is what I wanted for me and my ex-wife, was that now I can strike out. You know, I get 85 miles to the gallon uh, with my Toyota Prius Prime. I have a Honda ADV 150 motorcycle that gets 100 miles to the gallon. I'm, I'm back riding it, thank God. Uh, and so, you know, I can go anywhere and not spend a ton of money. Uh, which is another thing, uh, basically the, uh, the oil reserve has been completely depleted at this point. Uh, from one, Well, when I say completely, as, as much as, as they could do before the election to keep the oil prices down. So you're going to see some significant uh, fuel prices, electrical prices, everything's uh, going to go skyrocketing. I mean, it's going to be uh, massive. Uh, luckily, uh, and, and by the way, I, I, I'm going to be doing a video here soon on an uh, 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 infrared heater that I ordered for the house, because I, I actually did, well, I talked about this in a previous video, I disconnected the uh, gas line from the house, and, uh, uh, well, they did it, actually, <laughs> while I was away, but I didn't miss it, because all it does is uh, it give me a uh, gas uh, heat. Well, guess what? This little guy right here, so far, this winter, I mean, Florida, uh, is keeping the house warm. I mean, my, t my temperature right now is 74 degrees in the house, you know, so what do I care? I can survive down to 50 degrees in the house, uh, and then with this new infrared heater that I got, it's uh, supposed to be, should be here tomorrow. Uh, I'll do a review on that, and I want to show it to you. All right, but let's, uh, let's get back to the Ukraine war for just one last second. Um, because, uh, by the way, I, I think the Belarus uh, uh, event uh, that we, I covered in the previous video is, is a feint. I don't think that there's going to be troops coming across from there. I think that the Russians, uh, well, they've got, uh, they've got 36,000 paratroopers that they're holding in reserve, and they're going to they're gonna descend on Ukraine somewhere. Uh, Bakhrut, uh, they're, and by the way, this, everybody wants to know why the war has taken so long. Well, you'd have to study the Civil War, okay? And I always talk about the Battle of Vicksburg. And so what the, what the Russians are doing are pincer movements or in, encirclements. Okay, and they just, because, you know, Ukraine's, by the way, I mean, if you just want to understand where the Russians are coming from on all this, and I may have talked about this already, but back in 2015, we started arming the Ukrainians heavily, and they've been building defensive fortifications since 2015 to prepare for this war. So the Russians know that if they send their troops in, it's going to be, well, and by the way, they're calling Bakhrut the meat grinder right now because the Ukrainians are losing so many troops. Uh, like I said, I don't know, numbers I'm hearing, 100 to 500 a day, that's, that's, that's a meat grinder. Um, and of course the Russians, I did hear finally a number on that. I think they're down about, I don't know, 20 or 30,000 troops at this point. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I, like I said, I just kind of listen and watch Russian television and everything. But let's 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 listen to Putin. Let's, let, okay, I just want to make sure that it hadn't gone into. The, let's here you go. United States, there is this theory, strategy, doctrine of preemptive strike. We don't have it in our strategy. Our strategy is to believe a return strike because it's not a secret to anyone. What is a return? strike. 
So we are returning the strike, replying. Our citizens, when they see that the missiles were launched, if we see it, then we reply, because we hold exercises of our nuclear forces. We are not hiding that, we are not concealing that, we are informing all the nuclear powers, the United States, we are informing them that we are holding this kind of exercises, they are doing the same. And as soon as we receive this signal about the missile strike, we launch hundreds hundreds of our missiles, and it would be impossible to stop them, but that would be a reply, a response. What does it mean? That when the enemy warheads would fall on the Russian Federation, it will happen one way or another. There is no way to avoid that, but nothing would remain from the enemy, it would be eliminated, because it's impossible to stop hundreds of missiles and it stopped them from doing that. But if a potential enemy believes that it would be possible to use the theory, the doctrine of preemptive strike, and we are not considering this option, it makes us think about the threats that are created, that are posed by these kinds of ideas in the defense well, doctrines of other countries. So there you go. So there you go. Uh, anyway, that was uh, Putin's speech. Uh, and and I, I know that it's, I hate doing the videos like this, but I can't rain on other people's parades, you know, and, uh, and, and you know, I, I, I'm not sure what the copyrights are on all this stuff. Uh, I'm just trying to, I don't think playing the, uh, the voice back of uh, an interpreter, uh, basically interpreting what Putin is saying, but uh, what he's telling you is that, uh, well, like I said, they're moving their nuclear forces around, and they are preparing for World War III. And uh, so it's very interesting to watch it all. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that I will die with the rest of you. <laughs> Red rockets from Russia, they came down and there was no more. White rockets from the USA, they came down and blew it away. I did that song on a previous video. But yeah, and, uh, and so basically what he's saying, that he's positioning his forces so that he can take a punch in the nose uh, if uh, NATO wants to go to nuclear war. And, uh, and if they detect the uh, launches, uh, this is how precarious we are at this point. And, and boy, go, go, go talk to somebody on the street. They don't even know what the hell's going on. It just blows my mind. I, I you know, I, I, you know, and I don't want to rain on people's parade. Like I said, I'm just going to go to the park today. And I uh, just have a great day and make a video about uh, some place beautiful here in Florida. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do. You got to enjoy your life. You got to live your life and, and pray that these globalist lunatics, uh, it ain't Biden. I mean, he's just a puppet. I mean, wouldn't it be great if we had a leader? Uh, and I, you know, I, okay, you want to hate Putin? He's a great leader. I mean, listen to him. I mean, he's out in, in front of everything that's going on. He's in charge of everything. It was kind of like when Trump was in office. I mean, where the hell is Biden? I mean, we're fighting a war, a proxy war, I guess, in Ukraine. I mean, you know, shouldn't Biden be making speeches about, uh, like Kennedy did, you know, when, uh, when we were in the Cuban Missile Crisis? Uh, you know, but these are, this is what the Democrats want, man. They, they want a little puppet in there so that the uh, deep state can kind of run things behind the scenes. And uh, we have no leader in this country. I mean, if you want to think that Milley, that traitor, or uh, Austin, I mean, th those military generals. I mean, by the way, uh, uh, Colonel McGregor, I, I encourage you to try to find him on YouTube and uh, uh, Rumble. I, I, God, I wish that guy, if, if, if we could put Colonel McGregor in place of Milley, uh, we might have a chance in the war. But no, nah, nah, when you got cowards like Milley and Austin, I mean, we're, we're screwed. <laughs> I mean, you know, that, that's just my opinion. All right, peace out and stay free. I just wanted to give you one last update because I'm going to bed and I'm going for a big hike tomorrow and we're going to make a great video about uh, me chasing alligators somewhere in Florida. And it's good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida. <laughs>